Hi guys, this is Raul from Cyprus. Um, I want to show you really fast how to turn on and off an LED, how to toggle it through uh, an external switch. Now the really cool thing is we're going to do this without any CPU intervention, and that's something you can only do with uh, PSOC technology. In order to do that, we're going to use the Pioneer board with the 4200 part on it and Creator. As always, what you want to do is start a new project and name it. Make sure that you have uh, the right part selected. In this case, we're going to start a new pro project with the 4200, give it a name, and make sure that we select the right part number. In this case, it's a 4245. You can get that information out of the board on the silk screen or on the schematic of the board. Just make sure you have it and uh, get started. This is going to leave us to a, a blank canvas, and we're going to select two things. First of all, we need an output pin, which is going to drive the LED, and an input pin to read the switch. This is going to give us an option on the ports and pins, drag and drop. This is going to be our output pin. And then we're going to do the digital input, which is going to be reading the value from the switch. OK, so now we have the two pins laid out in the schematic. Let's go first and modify the LED. Let's give it a name, in this case, LED. And let's use the color green. We want to make sure that as an output, it has a hardware connection, and it has a strong drive in order to power on the LED. Once we have that set up, we can go OK and move into the input portion of it. The input is going to be, just name it switch. We want that to be a, a digital input with hardware. And let's just select the resistive pull-up mode. Okay, so what we have now is we are working on the on the characteristics of each of the pins that are going to be driving this. And just by dragging and putting the connections together, we now have an actual hardware connection between the switch and the LED. Now this goes through the PSOC without any CPU intervention, which is something really cool. Finally, what we need to do is make sure that it's mapped into the right pins so we can see that off the silk screen. The green LED, it's P02. Let's go into the CYDWR and select the LED as P02. And now the switch is connected to the P07. Let's select P07. And there you go. Now, as we program this, what's happening is we now have a direct connection between the switch and the LED. So once this is programmed, as you can see, if I push, the button, the LED goes green. And this is happening without any CPU intervention, which is a really cool feature that you can only do with PSAC. If you want more information, just go to cypress.com. Uh, you can get the schematic. You can get some of these example files and any more information you want. All right, see you next time.